Hello Aries, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your messages from Spirit Reading for March 2021 for the sign of Aries. So let's get straight into your reading and pull your cards. A few oracle cards to pull Aries and then we'll go into the tarot cards. So what do we have for Aries please? Angel Spirits Guides message for our lovely Aries. Thank you for March 2021. Message that Aries needs to hear, thank you. And remember, these are just messages, primarily. Okay, so what do we have for Aries? Thank you. Definitely an energy of living your truth. There's definitely an energy of not needing to, or not... What I'm getting with this, live your soul, not a role, is sometimes we go for things that we feel are just right to go for without understanding if they're right for our tr you know truth for our for our for who we are also living up to other people's expectations of what they expect of us rather than standing in our truth you know so for some of you that might resonate what do we have for aries please angel spirits guides message for aries Yeah, we have be proud. It's time to celebrate all that you've achieved, all that you are and all that you will become. Every once in a while, it's important to stop and acknowledge what you've achieved and to be proud. Isn't that lovely? It feels like, you know, angel spirits, guides, people you've lost to the other side are kind of saying they're proud of you and you have reasons to be proud of you. Very nice energy. Also the peacock feathers, the peacock in tarot is a, a sign of abundance and abundance is where you lack for nothing, you know, certainly in terms of creating the reali reality that you want. So there's definitely an energy if you lack for nothing here, live in your truth. Okay. Yeah, number 32, shield your energy, look beneath the surface. For some of you, there may well be some discernment moments this month. You know, it might well be you're seeing people's clear motivations. Um, there's definitely an energy of, of protection. Yeah, interesting one, that Aries. So that might resonate for some of you. I'm definitely getting this energy of being discerning, not things what appear to be, but what you know they are, you know, intuitively, and trusting that. We have the rat. Be true to yourself and the universe will reward you. Similar message. We have Archangels Gabriel and Zadkiel. Okay. So Aries, I'm going to pull three cards. The first card is the message from Spirit. The second card is what the message pertains to. And the third card is final words or actions to take. Okay, so what do we have for Aries, please? Angel Spirits Guides. Message for our lovely Aries. Sorry, I do think the neighbours are banging a little bit. They're doing the, uh, the room up next door. So they have been banging this week quite a lot. <laughs> okay, so what do we have for Aries, please? Angel Spirits Guides for March 2021. Message for our lovely Aries. Message for Aries, thank you. What is the message for Aries? Thank you. Okay, two cards are out here. So we have Temperance and the Ten of Wands. That is the message from Spirit. We have the Three of Wands, which is the Sun in Aries. Very nice energy. This is what it pertains to. And Five of Pentacles. Final words. We have the Knight of Wands here, Aries. At the bottom of the deck. Okay, so. There is definitely an energy of being burdened. 
sometimes you know in business career I can sometimes see this as glass ceiling energy you know where you're trying to move forward you're trying to progress but there's just something that's stopping you uh, I mean it, it, it can be in your current place of work it could well be in terms of getting new opportunities it feels to do with money career business this one um, and just feeling burdened like you've been working so hard and it's been a testing journey you have been tested now Saturnian energy is about us recognizing our own capability us Saturnian energy is all about the test the challenges uh, the patience the focus you know that you need to overcome any challenging situations um, any difficult boundaries that need to be pushed or you know broken through you know it's that kind of energy so you've definitely felt that you've been burdened and in that boundary kind of energy for a period of time but the temperance card is saying well yeah even though you don't realize it you've learned a lot from whatever this test and challenge has been whatever this testing time this testing journey has done for you i'm definitely getting this energy of being tested and the temperance card is finding your flow once more it's about balance being restored it's about yeah you've learned some it feels like learnt some exp the experiences that you've learned with that ten of wands will equip you for how you focus and adjust your beliefs moving forward you know this is a card of adapting i've been tested i've been challenged but now i'm just going to adapt retune from my experience and what i'm going to focus on now moving forward and find the way through you know find that way through that middle ground uh, to find my flow once more you know sagittarian energy the adventurer the journey there's definitely this energy of new journeys opening up when you find your flow when you find balance once more so there's definitely an energy of you're going to get balance back in your life but this testing time was meant for a reason even though it wasn't easy Aries and that's what spirit wants to tell you I think it was all part of it definitely feels it was all part of your transformation yeah and the 10 in tarot is you can you have an opportunity to release these burdens now and find your flow once more so that is a lovely energy what does it pertain to you're waiting for something to happen it's almost kind of like the opportunity the job opportunity uh, the business opportunity um, the advancement that you've been working towards you know um, that's what you've been waiting for that's what you've been trying to manifest but it feels like your ships are coming in here the message from spirit is very clear your ships are coming in the hard work here the test the challenge the difficult journey has not been in vain there's been a there's a level of patience with the temperance card as well be patient the burdens will be released your ships are coming in but they're not quite there yet you know and it's that kind of energy And the message with the five of pentacles is don't let the lack own you because even though this weight is a heavy one this person's back is bent but it's not broken you know it's generally that energy that this is a weight that you can carry even though it feels heavy um hard work perseverance overcoming tests challenges but there's definitely an energy of this is completing this is going to complete something good is coming your way it wasn't in vain and the five of pentacles is a card of i mean it can be a card of to do with financial loss and um, career loss changes in terms of your money career finances and it's generally for the negative it's a disruptive energy it's very consuming where you're kind of like oh they're okay and i'm not it can be a card of begrudging it can be a card of needing help with money asking for money um, charity family you know people who care about you uh, banks you know financial institutions that kind of energy um, but the message with the five of Pentacles is you see this is the church window 
and even though this person is feeling the lack and they are a little bit absorbed in their negativities you are being watched over in your darkest times you are being watched over. And that's the beautiful message of the Five of Pentacles. So don't let the negative shield your energy. Don't let, the neg don't let that negative own you. Um, live in your truth. It's not about what other people label you as. It's not about what other people... Um, there's definitely this energy that I'm getting here, whatever the external influences are, Aries, this is about reconnecting to your truth. Don't be distracted about the environment in your external environment, other people's opinions and so on and so forth. Because for some of you, the change is coming. The change is coming. The Knight of Wands is the opportunity. And for some of you, it's the opportunity that you've been waiting for, the opportunity that you've been wanting to manifest, the opportunity that's nearly broken your back, you know, but then there's patience here, be patient, it's coming. And this is the opportunity, the Knight of Wands, the exciting opportunity, very good in terms of jobs, business, career, um, promises growth, it's to do with your passions, desires. It's the green light energy, Aries. So all of a sudden, you're burdened, you think it's never going to end, and then there's the shift, there's the change, the green light, all of a sudden. So, you know, and it comes in trailblazing. I definitely get this energy of... And interestingly enough, the Knight of Wands, as your energy as well, Aries, this will be an energy of, oh, thank goodness, I am moving towards my passions and desires and growth and feel good energy. And I can leave that difficult situation behind me now. It can be a card of, oh, thank goodness that's over, you know. So the shift is coming. The shift is coming this month. It feels very beautiful. The message is be true to yourself. Stand in your truth. Shield your energy. Doesn't matter what other people say, doesn't matter what other people are doing anymore. This is about you focusing on what you do best. The sun in Aries, manifesting success, manifesting growth, expansion. Yeah. Lovely energy. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> It just never ceases to amaze me, the, the messages that come out, you know? They're so in sync. Make room for that happy ending. It's now within your grasp. Number two. My goodness, Aries. You know, it's coming. So I think it's very beautiful. You are absolutely being guided. The balance will be restored. There's a level of patience here, but it's coming and it is coming. Just be careful of don't let the lack own you. You know, it's not about focusing on the external environment. It's about refocusing on your truth. So I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful month for you all and I will see you next time. Thank you.